thing, let's look at how to support tomato plants using stakes and twine. This is an option for any gardener who would rather not use tomato cages. The first step is installing the stakes. Metal or wooden stakes are available in various heights, so choose a height that will accommodate the mature size of your tomato variety. Stakes should be placed between every two plants within the row. Think about the stake and string system as a single structure. On the end of each row, it is best to drive a stake at a 45 degree angle to the first stake in the row. This angled stake provides additional reinforcement as the plants begin to grow and weight on the support twine increases. Stakes can be driven using various tools, so choose the one that works best for you. I have found that using a fence post driver is quite helpful in speeding up the process, but a simple mallet may work just as well. Once all stakes have been installed, the second step is adding the twine. The Florida weave is a popular method used in supporting stake tomatoes. For this method, it is easiest to secure a box of polypropylene twine to your waist with a belt. Then thread the twine through a piece of half inch PVC pipe. This pipe is a huge help in guiding the twine from stake to stake. To get started, tie a row of twine to the first stake six to 10 inches above the ground. Proceed to the next stake and wrap the cord around the stake at the same level. Then you will continue the same process down the opposite side, securing the twine at the same level on each stake down the row. Once you have reached the end, tie the twine off to the last stake. As the plant grows, this process should be repeated three to five times depending on the mature height of the plant. This may sound complicated, but once you actually put it in place, you can see it's just a woven pattern that uses the flexibility of twine and the strength of the stakes to keep all those beautiful tomatoes safe from wet soil and growing in the right direction.